Jay Cutler versus Hattie Shupin. What an interesting prospect this is. And thanks to every one of you who went back on my You Pick Tuesday lineup and re-voted or took your votes away from Wesley Vissers versus Ramon Dino, which was the very first winning video. You guys went back and voted for this one, so this is your You Pick Tuesday winning video, I guess. But this was, I think, a result from the podcast that I was on, Project Bodybuilding, and we were trying to figure out where Hattie Shupin lies in the, the grand scheme of things. Not greatness, but in actual, you know, goodness. Who, who would actually win? Would Hattie Shupin defeat Jay Cutler? I thought to myself, well, a lot of people are not going to like this, but I think that Hattie Shupin is just going to be too much for Jay Cutler. 2001? Well, realistically, you're going to want to use an Olympia winning version, so we're also going to toss in 2009. I know you guys wanted to see 2009, but if you see 2009, you're also going to want to see 2001, so a double feature, which was already a double feature for you guys. You guys are so lucky getting all these good videos. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm the lucky one. Go through these shots. We're the lucky ones to have these great legends. To root for, Jay Cutler is a tremendous beast. Keep in mind, don't listen to, don't listen to what they say. Jay Cutler was heavier here in 2001 than he was in 09. For sure, he was big, big. He had to go against the likes of Ronnie Coleman, so he really needed the size. There's just no way out of it. And his conditioning was pretty good, too. Now, you're going by pictures, guys. You gotta watch the video footage, things of that nature as well. Hattie Shupin, he is in another dimension type peeled. The wheels, things of that nature than Jay Cutler. People are gonna take that the wrong way. But Hattie had that 90s type glistening condition from the front. Just unbelievable. Unbelievable. But when you look at the arms, I mean, Jay, he had a set. Wow. Wow. Here's 09. And you can see what I mean. He was not as big. He had to combat against your Dexter the Blade Jacksons. So he didn't really need that overwhelming lag size either. And he he must have torn his bicep. You can see his left his whole left side is off. And that is the first thing that I notice when I look at the 09J and Probably the reason why I think it's not the best Jay Cutler. Because when you throw Hattie Shupin up against it, I mean, come on guys, maybe I did missize it, maybe I didn't. I think that Hattie Shupin, like I said, is another dimension in conditioning. Go go to the next shot here. Jay Cutler is supreme in this front lat spread. Look at Sean Ray back there thinking... Oh, man, I missed my opportunity. I missed my chance to win the Olympia. You did, you did. But Jay, wow, does he look glistening. And structurally speaking, of course, Jay Cutler is going to have an advantage. But had he, you know, he's defeating guys like Samson Douda, who probably have a better structure than Jay Cutler. And as far as size is concerned, you look at the thick meat of Hattie's wheels. The guy is big. Here's 09. Here's 09. And you can see, guys, his wheels were way off proportion. Hattie's look just as shredded as the 09J, and that's tremendous. You gotta think, guys. Your Dorian Yates's, what was he, 250? 254? Maybe. That was pushing it at that era. Samson's like almost 300 pounds. Come on. They're just huge nowadays, and they do not get the respect that they deserve. But take a look, guys. Hattie Shupin is every bit as good as Jay Cutler. Go to the side here. No, this is a, a terrible picture. This is it doesn't even count. Does not even count, but food for thought here. Jay looks like one of those aviators. Bum, 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 bum. Here's 09. Different side for Jay. He's huge. Look at the size. Look at look at the wheel. Look at the wheel of Jay. It looks like a quad on top of a quad. I think he is getting Hattie maybe from the side. You look at the pecs themselves and Jay. 
I think his packs were displayed better at the other side, on his other side. But the wheels, obviously, guys, it was his other leg, his right leg, that was much smaller. So he's not going to show that leg. So, you know, so saying, side tricep. I think Jay, he is almost too much for Hattie Shupin in the side shots. But then again, you look at the conditioning and... Jay Cutler fans, it probably won't even won't even watch this, and I'm not forcing them to. But the realists that want to know, you know, judging by pictures, of course. Unless you're there, you don't know. But I believe the old saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. And these pictures do give us the appreciation of that deep condition of Hattie Shupin. Here is 09, just glistening. One thing about 2009, guys, that lighting was awesome. It was truly something to behold. Everybody was just glistening. Think about it. Dexter the Blade Jackson looked his best, and uh, Branch Warren looked his best. Imagine this Hattie Shupin under this lighting, even with the uh, Arnold Arnold's classics, which was decent lighting. It was pretty good. For nowadays, it was awesome. But we're talking about the best lighting versus okay lighting. And Hattie's still more peeled in the lower half, guys. And unfortunately for Jay, this right side is his side tricep side. And it is that lag. Not even close to the other, his left leg. Not even close. So not symmetrical. Let's have a look at the back. Oh my soul. Picture comparisons, guys. Don't show the true angle. I would assume the camera is a little bit lower for Jay, so you could assume in your mind that his back's going to be a little bit bigger and his legs are going to be slightly not quite so big. But having said that, Jay is destroying Hattie in the lag size, the glutes, things of that nature. Thin skin condition. Jay's not bad. He's not bad, but he's not beating Hattie. Not at all. And to keep this short and probably still painful to you, Jay Eitz, his back is not even close, not even in the same league as Hattie Shupin there. I said it. I said it. And it's true. You guys know it's true. So today's competitors deserve respect. I mean, Hattie Shupin's back... I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, 09 Jay Cutler fans. What what do you think, you guys, with that thin skin condition? And that was the biggest difference of 09. Glutes, hamstrings. He needed that to defeat Dexter the Blade Jackson. He didn't need all that freaky size that he needed to beat Ronnie Coleman. So, in the grand scheme of things, condition-wise, even, even with the 09. Is he beating Hattie? I don't think so. I do not think so. Because with 09 brings, yes, the better condition. The tighter condition. But now he's just in the same league as Hattie, as far as that's concerned. But when you look at his back, his back is even smaller. So Hattie Shupin, realistically, the back shots, Jay's not even close to Hattie. With, of course, all due respect to Jay Cutler. He is a great person. But that doesn't mean he's better than Ronnie King Coleman, things of that nature. Let's have a look at the back double, beginning with 01, Jay Cutler. And to put it bluntly, he is, looks watery. Looks like Samson Dowda versus, versus Hattie Shupin. I'm just joking, I'm just joking. I don't want to upset Samson Dowda. He's been taking it, uh, taking it in stride lately. Lately. Hattie Shupin, better, much better in the rear lat, but still in the rear double, looks pretty good against Jay. Jay a little, ah, again, it's hard to, it's hard to criticize Jay. He's such a nice guy. Such a nice guy. But conditioned, he just was not in 01 compared to this version of Jay. Now, do you see that difference? We're talking condition plus for 09. And when you looked at the front shots, there's no doubt 01, much superior, much better. And then you look at the back shots, 
And that kind of makes Jay Cutler 09 versus 01 an impossible task. So let's not fall down that rabbit hole. I gotta say, had he shooping as conditioned as he is in the glutes hamstrings, Jay Cutler, he is at a Phil Heath friggin' level here. I'm telling you right now. Surprises me. Actually looks tighter here in the rear double than he did in the rear lat spread. But having said that, Hattie, he's incredible. He's he's hanging. He's hanging and banging, just like Hulk Hogan used to say. Abs and thigh. This could be a tricky one also. And you see what I'm saying about the front shots. So much more superior in 01, 209. But then the thin skin of the back. You got to hand it to 09. Hattie, going to be hard to beat him in the abs. This is Sean Ray times 10. Here's 09 just glistening under that good lighting. Good, good lighting. I'm telling you. Abs. They look like Hattie Shupin's abs, except, and I know, this, this is terrible, and I apologize beforehand. It looks like he held a, like a lighter, like a rubber action figure, and his abs just start to melt. And before they melt too quickly, you run it under cold water, and it freezes it right at that point. And that's Jay Cutler's abs. Terrible, terrible. Don't worry, I'll be punished. I'll be, I'll be punished for that. Here's the most muscular, and here's a perfect example of how good, peeled, sliced, and diced Hattie Shupin is. He's so much more hard and grainy than Jay Cutler that I'm going to forgive the arms. I mean, Jay has a fuller set of arms. Sure he does. Sure he does. Here's 09 to put a nail in this coffin. This is it. So Jay Cutler, as good as he is... I'm not going to give him the victory over Hattie Shupin. And when it happens, currently, nobody realizes how good these guys are. Hattie Shupin, he is at his best right now. This is this 2024 Arnold Classic. Hey, Billy, find me a way. This is, this is the best Hattie Shupin. I'm going to be a bandwagon jumper. There was other versions, not as big, maybe as peeled. There's been other versions... Just as big, not as peeled. This is the combination that defeats Jay Cutler. So, yes, yes. J uh, Patty Shupin, he is among the very best. We can say that he is quite possibly sixth, seventh, fifth best bodybuilder of all time. Well, Dorian Knights would have something to say about that. Hit thumbs up on the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Every subscriber helps. Helps me reach that goal, 100,000. Of course, 50,000. We'll take a little pit stop at 50,000, but then on to 100. God willing, of course. Have a great one, guys.